Hi and welcome to this video. In this video, we are going to take a look at what is VMware's Tanzu Mission Control. Now, a lot of organizations that are that have development teams managing or running applications on Kubernetes tend to have multiple Kubernetes cluster instead of one big giant cluster. And the reasons for that could be varied. One reason might be that companies want to have multiple cloud endpoints to uh, deploy their application into, and hence they have two different Kubernetes clusters sitting in each cloud. Or there might be different streams or different pipelines of development that need different Kubernetes endpoints. However, if you think about maintaining and managing these clusters, each cluster is its own security domain in the sense that each cluster needs its own role-based access control. Each cluster needs to have its own security definition, so on and so forth. Managing multiple clusters can be challenging, and that is where Tansu Mission Control comes in. VMware's Tansu Mission Control is a unified platform that brings together management of different Kubernetes clusters that are spread across different cloud and allows operation teams to define consistent policies around security and access control throughout these different clusters. So let's take a quick look at Tanzu Mission Control. I'm now logged into Tanzu Mission Control. As you can see, I have multiple clusters that were either provisioned into AWS using um, my AWS account, or I've attached existing Kubernetes clusters from Azure, from vSphere, from Google Cloud into Tanzu Mission Control. And as we attach our provision clusters, and if we get into any of the single cluster, you can see Tanzu Mission Control provides component health of various Kubernetes objects. It will show you the number of nodes that are part of that cluster the various namespaces that this cluster has, including all the system namespaces, the various workloads or the deployments that were created uh, within this cluster. And also, uh, if we get into the deployments, you can get more data around, for example, the YAML file that was used to create this deployment, um, the usage in terms of resources, etc. Another thing that we can do with this particular cluster is run inspections. Currently, inspections let you test the uh, upstream conformance uh, for that particular Kubernetes cluster. Inspections can also be plugged to define or validate different industry standards for these clusters and how they are operating. Now, going back to clusters, what can we really do with these clusters once we have, uh, you know, brought them under tons of mission controls umbrella? Uh, we can create cluster groups. These cluster groups are logical entities that will define a group of clusters. In my case, we have created um, uh, different cluster groups based on different pipelines, for example, development, production, and staging. Now, if you get into one of the cluster group called development, you'll see that um, this cluster group consists of various clusters coming in from AWS, Azure, and vSphere. Now, at the same time, there's a different logical group that goes a level deeper than the cluster, which is called workspaces. Workspaces is, again, a logical grouping of different namespaces that are spread across different clusters. Um, if you look at the Acme Fitness Dev Staging Workspace, I have different namespaces for Acme Fitness App created on these different uh, clusters that are coming in from Google, some are from vSphere, and some are from AWS. Now, once we have defined workspaces and you know cluster groups, which is kind of logically grouping things together, uh, we can go ahead uh, and use policies to define consistent policies across these different cluster groups and workspaces. There are various policies that Tons of Mission Control provides. Uh, the common one that can be applied to both cluster groups and workspaces is an access policy. Tons of Mission Control brings an identity from uh, VMware Cloud Services and will let you define which users or user groups have what level of access per cluster or even per namespace. Um, at the same time, you can define an image registry policy that on the workspaces that defines which uh, contain registries have access to deploy into these clusters or namespaces. You can also define a network access policy that defines whether egress control is allowed or not into um, these different clusters or namespaces.
Similarly, we have a pod security policy, again, that will help you define consistent pod security policies across a bunch of clusters. The idea being once you create this policy into any of this node, uh, whether it's a cluster or a workspace, the policy flows down into various clusters that are part of that group and uh, not requiring a admin to log into individual clusters and manage the same policy at that particular cluster. Tons of mission control is going to automate in the back end. It is going to talk to these different clusters and uh, create that consistent policy um, automatically. So this was a quick overview of Tons of Mission Control. Thank you for watching this video.